Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the Chew on Marble Wallace. This is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Last week, we looked at the extremes of the week Jesus for Jesus leading up to the cross, where he died for you and I. It was a fast-paced week, then the silence of Friday. Until yesterday, Easter Sunday, he is risen. Praise the Lord. I know many of us heard great messages of resurrection yesterday. The gospel writers give us different looks. However, the critical message is the same. The tomb is empty and Jesus was resurrected bodily from the grave. Hallelujah. The power of God, the promise fulfilled. Jesus predicted his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. The disciples believed Jesus as the Messiah, and yet, as we discovered, they thought all was lost. They gathered in silence, seeing the darkest of times, waiting in fear for the soldiers of the religious leaders to come and take them in to suffer as Jesus did. In the horrific events of the week, they lost sight of the coming event, which we celebrated on Easter Sunday, an event that changed the course of history and their very lives. This week, we're going to be looking at the first morning of the week, the first of many firsts for the week ahead. We'll look at the way God has always shown his light in the dark and how action is always necessary. I want to invite you to grab your Bible and turn with me to John chapter 20. We're going to read verses 1 through 8. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but he did not go in. Then Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say thanks be unto God? Amen. A couple of questions today as we prepare for the week. Do I seek the light, his light, in the dark? Do I see how action on my part is needed? Am I listening to the Holy Spirit's direction today? Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or am I going to choose my own way? Now, I'm praying for us as we go back and we reread this passage. Do yourself a favor. Read the parallel passages from the other gospel. Then join me tomorrow as we dig in and see what the Holy Spirit has for us. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.